Hello guys, so before we get started, no, I didn't dye my hair, I didn't cut my hair, it's just a wig. Um, I found this wig at a like a wig shop when I was in New York and I was like, I might as well get it because, I don't know, it looked nice, so I got it. But, um, so today I'm going to record a another Halloween tutorial. I know I haven't been recording any other videos, but just Halloween is around the corner, so I thought I'd get a few out. Um, so I found this, um, when I put my mermaid tutorial up, a girl had asked if I have any ideas for Captain America or Captain Miss America, I guess it would be. Um, so I googled a few looks, or Halloween looks, whatever, and um, I came across this picture, I don't know if you guys can see that, can you guys see that? So I came across this picture and on Google, so, and I thought this was really cool and probably really easy to do so I went and I got myself some paint I got myself black and white body paint um, face and body paint so I hope this comes off um, and all you need is red black white and gray so and technically you can mix black and white so you'll get gray so and then for red I didn't they didn't have red paint so what I'm gonna use is I'm just gonna use red lipstick make use of whatever you have and this is super easy I'm sure you can find black and white face paint anywhere and it's easy it's amazing for a last minute tutorial so let's get right into it I'm starting off with my foundation now this found uh, for this look I you don't really need like a foundation that's different than your face color I'm assuming this this is all my assumption so you guys can do whatever you like but um, you do want it a little bit full coverage because it, it is more of like a cartoony kind of look so I'm using my Armani Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I also got this when I was in New York and I've only worn it once or twice but so far so good and then my cover FX custom drops and I have it in N50 um, and I heard a lot of people talk about this so I thought I'd give it a shot and they're basically just um, just drop so you can use them to darken or lighten your foundation and it also gives you a lot more coverage or just with just a few more drops so that's very nice so I'm gonna mix these two together and then put that all over my face and I'm also gonna kind of avoid my forehead area because um, we're gonna be painting the the star and the headband over here so I don't want it to be too cakey but I'm gonna do the rest of my face and let's do that now and I'm gonna mix it all together and put it on my face and then we're going to blend it out oh man I forgot to put on primer I'm gonna put on my benefit poor professional my skin is so dry lately um like I have acne prone skin but it's like not oily at all it's just been really dry so like and I feel like when my skin is really dry, it gets more pimples, which it does. That's the thing. I just got foundation. So anyways, I'm going to put this onto my face. And I think this foundation is a little dark for me. But it will have to do for now. Because, I mean, I just went through all that trouble of mixing. So let's just blend this out. Okay, this wig hair like needs to stay out of my face. So I'm just gonna blend it all out quickly, quickly. And obviously start off with a little bit of foundation and then like work your way up in terms of coverage. Um, I feel like I don't need that much coverage today. I don't have that many breakouts. So I'm just gonna go and do whatever I feel is necessary and I hate getting foundation under my eyes I find that it gets for me especially like I find there's people that like can pack on makeup and like found foundation concealer and powder under their eyes and it won't really do anything for them but for me I find that I get cakey so fast and it gets all creasy so I try to avoid as much product as I can from my under eye because even concealer is looks cakey on me so yeah so let me see I don't have a mirror so I'm just going off of what I see on the screen so 
I think that looks good. Um, and I'm feeling, filming like from sitting on my bed today, which is a lot more comfortable than when I sit on the chair and do it. So I think I'm just going to do this for now and I'll just make like a pretty background for you guys. So we're going to prime our eyes with my MAC painterly paint pot. And excuse my nails. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I used to have really pretty nails. Like if you scroll down my Instagram feed and look at like the first few pictures that I ever posted, um, they were all about me doing my nails. Like I used to do such pretty designs on them. Um, and then I started lifting a lot more and obviously I, like you know I started getting into that and my nails would break so much so I just decided to leave them broken and then um, I also when I get nervous or anything I bite my nails and um, or stressed or anything like that I bite my nails so taking the MAC um, what is this prolonger concealer in NW20 and now this is very light for me but because we are going for like that comic book kind of look I don't mind it otherwise usually I don't wear this by itself because it is very light so we're gonna put this under the eyes and also on the bridge of our nose um, because we want to highlight that but yeah so I bite my nails like crazy and it's kind of disgusting but I don't eat them like I just bite them I just rip off the nail and then I like you know just throw it onto the floor as great as gross as that may sound which I do that um, and then I just don't they just don't grow back so and as soon as they start growing back I'll probably get stressed out again and then I'll just start breaking them off again so there really isn't winning so I just gave up and I was like I'll just have gross looking nails and I can't get my nails done um, I'm not gonna get like fake nails and stuff because that at the gym is even worse like I used to well not used to like I once I think I got it done and it was like my nail got stuck in between plates and it like flicked you know what I'm talking about like it went like this and it hurt like a beep so I'm not gonna do that either and um yeah so basically I have chosen the gym life over looking nice and presentable which I don't mind I mean I give everyone has their own preferences I follow a lot of girls on Instagram YouTube that have their nails done and they look pretty all the time I just can't do that because of my work and what I do on a daily basis like my activity level but if you can like if you guys have nails and you work out kudos to you because I cannot do that I will rip my nail off I'm going to take my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder to set everything under the eyes and we are going to gunta. We are gonna bake. So in the picture for eyes, she basically has kind of like a brown smoky eye, nothing too intense, but she does have something in the crease and um a very nice winged eyeliner so we are gonna do just that I'm gonna use my Lorac Pro palette I love this palette you guys know that if you've seen any of my other makeup tutorials especially in the beginning of when I first started this is the only palette I used and I still basically only go for this palette so what we're gonna do is take the color cream just like a cream color and I'm gonna put that and mix it with the light pink color as well so I'm just gonna put that on my lids just to give it a brightening effect. Now remember guys, I'm not a makeup artist and I really don't know how to do makeup. I only learned also from YouTube. So we're all in this together. All I know is that blending is the key. If you blend your life away, the look will the look will look good. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to take like a fluffy uh, fluffy, bland, fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take the color mauve. It's a very light ma like mauve color. Duh. I'm going to put that into the crease just to define it a little bit. I'm going to take my MAC 2222 
217 brush, not 2222. 217 brush and then go into the color called Sable and it's a darker brown. Um, and I'm just gonna go into the crease with this. Just like kind of like on the outer three quarters of my eye. There you go. Dense brush and I'm gonna take the color F. Espresso. I always call it Espresso, but it's Espresso. Very little bit and just put it in the corner um, and then blend that out. So I go right there, in the corner of my eye. And then just like kind of blend it out. And I'll even take the blending brush and do that. And it's very light. I don't want to do like a super dark. Honestly, I don't really care for the eyes. Our huge ass lashes and eyeliner are gonna cover most of it, so it don't matter. Now let's brush off all of this powder off of our face. Next thing we're gonna do is put on our eyeliner, and now what she has for her eyeliner is a very cat eye sort of eyeliner, so she has eyeliner connecting from here to the bottom and then like this and then she has a wing so that is what we're gonna do I don't know if I can get that on camera but I'm going to try to my NYX um, matte liquid liner and I'm not the best at eyeliner so not the best at a lot of things but we're gonna try so far so good So I'm done both eyeliner on both eyes, but now we're going to go on to the bottom eyes. Bottom eyes. Guys, I can't talk. I don't know makeup terminology. We're going to go into the lower lash line, and I'm taking this very thin brush. I don't know if you can see that. Very thin brush, and I'm going to put this. I'm going to put some eyeliner, black eyeliner on the inside, and then also line the lower lash line, and I'm going to do this with a gel eyeliner. Take it more onto the bottom. Like so. So now that I'm done with both eyes, I'm gonna set this with a black eyeshadow. Kind of forgot what I was gonna say. So just take any black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use the same brush that I've been using and I'm gonna set everything under the eyes and make sure that there's no fallout. Okay, and this is just gonna help us keep all of this black under our eyes without it smudging and um, especially if you're going out I don't go anywhere for Halloween what do you guys do for Halloween you know I'm acting like I'm doing all these tutorials and that I'm about to be one of these for Halloween but I actually just stay home I never do anything for Halloween I've never been to a Halloween party or anything so this year it's not gonna be anything different I'm gonna be staying home probably giving candy out to the kids um, what do you guys have planned for Halloween? If you have something cool planned, let me know so I can pretend like I'm going with you guys. But, um, you know, I don't really, I don't really regret it. Um, so that. And now we're going to do our eyelashes. I'm going to use my Coco Lashes in Foxy. Can't do eyelashes on camera, so I'm going to put them on and I'll be back. We are going to start off with our forehead. And what we're going to do with this is we are actually going to kind of carve out like a kind of like this shape. I don't know what you would call it. Kind of like the bottom of the heart. And we're going to do that with a with the black first. Okay.
let's draw out our star. And for that, I'm just going to use a eyeliner pencil. So I'm mixing the two together. So I think I'm finally done now. Nice too. Originally, this was supposed to be more like of a cartoon type character, and look, look how bad I messed this up. But I'm sure you guys are better uh, than me. And I mean, I think it looks decent on me. So if you're better and more artistic, it'll look so much better on you. But I wanted to go for more of a cartoon look type of thing. But then once I realized that I really suck at drawing and I really don't know where lines and stuff are supposed to go, I'm not going to do it. Um, I mean, I can definitely try, but I feel like I will mess it up, so that's why I'm doing this right now. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to do what they have in the video, which is what in the picture, which are just two lines here, like here, and you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. Forget it. Not going to happen because I'm going to mess it up, and I do still have to take pictures and stuff. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know it was a mix of both. Um, voiceovers and talking because I didn't know what I wanted to do but give this video a thumbs up if you guys want more easy tutorials now I'm focused more on things that you guys can just get and do at home without the hassle of like you know outfits like with this outfit I'm sure you can just wear something all black or something red and black or whatever it is um, and that and it will go perfectly so thumbs up if you want more kind of quick Halloween tutorials and then um, I'm gonna come at you guys with more workout videos I know on my YouTube very it lacks on workout videos even though my Instagram and that's my job that's what I do it's just very hard for me to film in the gym as I've mentioned before uh, my gym does not allow it so I'm gonna try to figure out how to do things for you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um, I'm loving this hair and I'm gonna take a few pictures and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye